Now, when you are using Blender's asset browser, a uh, comment that keeps popping up is why are some of the thumbnails in color and why are some of the thumbnails in black and white? It's like the program gets confused and then it's very difficult to update these thumbnails um, and you don't want to come here and start loading custom renders for each asset because that will cost you a lot of time in terms of making individual renders and then batch uploading them here to create previews. What I think is happening, and I can show you um, that how to solve this, uh, before I show you how to solve it, um, let me give, give you the explanation. What I think is happening is when it has multiple inputs on the principled node, uh, Blender does get a little confused as to which JPEG or texture rather should be the lead texture in other words diffuse or albedo so then it could take the, the bump or the roughness and display that as the lead texture um, like it is doing here um, which is not great so for me to fix that let's go in here um, and then I'm simply gonna do a diffuse uh, so that there is only one texture input and the second I do that and set that to be the only texture going into that asset, I can hit refresh, um, refreshing the wrong one. So I can now hit refresh and then that will give me that thumbnail that's no longer in black and white. And right now I can reconnect that uh, to the principal and get rid of of the diffuse now the same here i'm going to do that for this one as well i'm going to just drop a diffuse i'm quickly going to connect that up there and quickly going to connect that and then if i update the preview over here it updates to color then i get rid of the diffuse and just make sure that is connected and now these things are all the correct color in the asset browser so that is how you fix that